This is Ida, rather squashed after 47 million years underground, but an extraordinary specimen, so beautifully preserved. Often fossil hunters only find scraps of bone and a few teeth, but this specimen is almost complete. And not only can you see the bones, you can even see the outline that shows where the fur on the creature once was. Extraordinary detail. They even used x-ray to examine the contents of the stomach and they could see that she'd eaten at her last meal some fruit and leaves. And one very interesting discovery was here on the wrist, which is clearly broken. Now, she was a grasping animal. She grasped onto the branches with her hands and swung from tree to tree. And perhaps the broken wrist was, was the reason why she didn't survive and fell into this lake and ended up as a fossil that we can study now. The scientists who've been looking at the fossil say there's a mix of characteristics. She looks a little bit uh, like a lemur, but they say she also has more advanced characteristics that you might see in humans today. So is she our direct ancestor? Well, that's something that's going to be debated for some time. The team say she's not perhaps our great, great, great grandmother, perhaps more of a, a great, great, great aunt. Is she a missing link or not? Well, some say she is. Others say that's just a cliche that is barely means anything at all. But one thing certain scientists around the world are going to be very keen to have a look at this wonderful specimen. The scientists themselves want to study it in a lot more detail. Something no one can deny is that it simply is a wonderful specimen. Her 47 million year old remains can be brought to life in the 21st century virtual world. Laser scanners, combined with the computerized tomography, produce a digital code of her body, which, once processed, creates an accurate 3D model. We are able, using these tools, to see Ida as never before. is a warm-blooded creature covered in thick fur. She was just under a meter long, including her tail, which she used for balance as she scampered on all fours through the rainforest canopy. Her opposable thumbs and toes gripped the branches. Ida was probably active at night. Like us, her two large forward-facing eyes gave her excellent stereoscopic vision. Let me try to take you back to Eda's time, the Eocene period. Now, 47 million years ago, I would have been standing underwater. This was the bed of a huge volcanic lake, the Metal Pit. Now, the animals that lived around in the tropical rainforest would have come to the waters to drink, but bubbling up from the surface was poisonous carbon dioxide, and the animals, like Eda, would have been gassed and fallen in and drowned and then ended up sinking to the bottom into the mud and effectively being pickled, slowly embalmed and perfectly preserved. And millions and millions of years later, that mud turned to shale. And thousands of incredibly preserved creatures have been dug up here. Bats, lizards, species of crocodiles, all sorts of things, including miniature horses the size of dogs. It's quite slippy here. Now, this gives you some idea of the sort of things that have been dug up here. This is a bowfin, 47 million years old, probably like Eda. And you can see the tail here and even the gills. And there are literally thousands of fish and other animals here still waiting to be dug up. Ida, though, is something special. She is the most complete fossil primate ever found. And as well as a perfectly preserved skeleton, there's the, the shadow outline of her fur. You can see the contents of her stomach and know that her last meal was berries. And she is something else that's important too. A link, in some way, a distant ancestor of us all. Perhaps not our great, 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 
grandmother, but some distant cousin on the family tree. And in the 150th year since the publication of The Origin of Species, surely Charles Darwin would have been delighted by Eda.